All right, what's going on YouTube? My name is Trey. Welcome to We're Gonna Change. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe if you want to. Hey, like the video if you would like it at the end. If you don't, hey, it's cool. And if you want to donate down here to help go to the production of the set, I appreciate it. There's my cash app. It's only there for a little bit. Oh, and now it's gone. All right, so Candace Owens um, put up a tweet. Or, uh, sorry, and I don't even know what you call them now. Uh, she put up a post on X, and it says... It talks about Uganda. And so let's go ahead and take a look. So I stand with Uganda. Don't let the homo agenda uh, inf infiltrate your nation as it has ours. We are now battling pedophiles who are demanding access to our children and want to mutilate their body parts. The World Bank banned funding to Uganda due to anti-LGBT law. The Ugandan president responded by saying this. It is unfortunate that the World Bank and the other actors there to want to coerce us into abandoning our faith, culture, principles, and sovereignty using money. You know, you know, China has done something similar to this, but they did it a while back. No, the people think that the LGBT, once again, and I'm just trying to say that this, this LGBT people think they run the world. They don't, baby. You can't go everywhere and say if you don't comply to people being gay and make them run your world, that um, y'all you going to do what I say, or we'll take the money, Right? It's a shame that no matter who you are, no matter where you are in the world now, you can't have no faith. You can't have no culture. If you don't include the LGBT, then pff, screw you. Listen, what? Tell me, why is that group so strong? I don't see any other group on the planet that has this much power to, to the point where if you have a law against coming out of the homo, you know, being a homosexual, if you you, there, you can't push this agenda. If you do push it, it's against the law. You that's the only group I know uh, that if you do that, they'll cut you off. They'll cut you off completely. I told you guys. People say that they're the most oppressed group. Are they? This whole freaking country is getting no money from the World Bank because the the country is against them. They can have culture. They can they can they they can't say. They, they can be the most religious cult country on the planet and they still get their rights taken away because they don't agree with the LGBT. But they're the most oppressed group on the planet. Come on now, baby. Come on now, baby. I think it obviously went too far, right? I think being lesbian, being gay and all that kind of stuff, okay, cool. I'm not cool with it, but I'm thinking cool. It is what it is. I'm not foolish. I know we there's no we don't live in a puritanical world where everybody there's nobody who's gonna struggle with homosexuality. I'm not dumb. There's people who struggle with homosexuality, porn addiction, alcoholism. There's all those kind of vices in this world. Okay, I get it. But at the same time, why are they such an elite group? If if you want to be gay, why do I have to bow down to that? Why do I have to put you in my group? Why do I have to include you? Because of your sexuality and who you choose to sleep with. I don't understand that. I don't understand why it has to be a part of everybody's life. No matter what you believe in. If you believe in your religious faith, in your culture, in your beliefs, it doesn't matter. I still have to accept you in. No matter what, or you won't give me any money. We just talked earlier about what we talked about with Ben Shapiro, right? We were talking about the ad revenue that goes through YouTube or the ad revenue that goes through bigger companies, right? Um, if you disagree with the trans movement, if I come out and say, I think a man is, is only a man and a woman's a woman, cut, cut my ad revenue. Matt Walsh got completely demonetized because he called Dylan Mulvaney pretty much because he was going after Dylan Mulvaney and calling him a guy. Demonetized his whole channel, took all his money. Why do we have to be the only ones who have to conform, right? And they say they say that it's a religious world. Go look at the statistics. Most people don't even follow religion in America anymore. So who the heck is being oppressed here? I'm so confused. They're wanting to demonetize my whole channel just because I don't agree with that. Who's really pushing the agendas here? Look at what's happening around the world. People hate the Middle East because they're not like, yes, you can be gay. If you're gay in certain countries, it's not going to go well for you. And I'm not even saying being gay. It's not like they're saying if you're just gay, if you just exist, you're going to get hurt. It's if you go out there and start pushing it. You go out there and start kissing men in the streets. Then it's going to be a problem because they don't believe in that. They don't think it's right. They believe full and wholeheartedly what they believe. 
But no matter what, no matter where you go, they want to push this agenda. And I'm just against it, too. I don't think having the LGBT being such an elite group has helped America at all. As much as people used to say that it, it gave us incl inclusivity, it made us more loving. No, it has not. No, it has not. The more I've seen this group get bigger and stronger, it has only turned, it has only let more wolves out of the cage is what I've seen. You got more people who want to go off. You know, I'm not saying the LGBT itself is wanting to go after kids, but you see them being more allowed to do it. They get to go, they get to get grown men, grown men who dress in drag, who are gay men, who get to go dance in front of little kids. Until we started saying something, they would have just been allowed. Shaking their booty in front of kids. And then you got little boys who are dressing in drag, dancing for grown men to have money thrown at them. All because they're gay. And so we're supposed to allow that. Since when is gay and sex being sexual the same thing? They're not. But that's what always gets pushed to us. Do y'all remember the rom-com that came out that flopped about a gay man? And the whole movie was about a gay man being gay with a bunch of gay men and having sex all over the place. But we got called bigots because we didn't like that movie. It's like, I don't want to see a movie that's completely pornography because he's gay that he gets away with that. No. No. Look at the pride parade. You got naked men walking. I saw a naked man testicles hanging out fully naked walking up to a little girl putting it in her face and i'm supposed to be cool with that because he's a gay man right because he's gay and he's at pride he's allowed to put his genitals in a little girl's face that's i'm supposed to be cool with that i'm supposed to watch little kids today do sexual acts and peace i'm supposed to be cool with it because it's all about love no i'm never gonna be cool with that i wasn't cool with it back then I'm not going to be cool with it today. I grew up with, obviously I grew up with, I, I met gay kids. I met lesbian girls. And I would tell them to their face and I tell them now. I don't agree with it. Because the people do struggle with homosexuality, but people think that because they struggle with it, because they might like the same sex, that it's everything they are now. Oh, I like women because I think they're pretty. And now you have to be a lesbian. You have to dress a certain way. You have to talk about sex. You have to be do all this stuff that's just insane. Just because you like the same sex and you may have a romantic attraction to them, that's not, that doesn't have to be your whole label. It doesn't have to be you are a lesbian, you're nothing else. You're not a human being, you're nothing else. If you like men, you're gay, you're nothing else. I refuse to let that be the narrative. I'm not going to have the LGBT be a completely different group from me. That's why, I don't, that's why I don't say the cis stuff. That's why I don't agree with being called cis. Because I'm a human being like you're a human being. And I'm tired of us always getting divided between who you want to go to bed with. And it's crazy that we're even talking about who you want to have sex with. That's the thing that's supposed to be for marriage. And we're over here talking about sex like it matters that deeply. Like, if, if you want to have sex with a guy, we got to talk about it. I don't care. That's supposed to be in the bedroom. Because that's what being gay and being lesbian has become about. Not romantically attracted to. It's always normally about who you want to have sex with. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The way that this world goes and how hard, I mean, how much porn is out there and how much sex is going on, a lot of people want to have sex with everybody. There will be straight men who will have sex with another guy, not because he's sexually attracted to them, because he's so deep in the porn world, he'll have sex with anything and everything. You guys, there's people who have sex with animals. Are, are we not seeing that? There's people who will do intercourse with animals. Animals. So I'm not, I don't care who you want to have sex with because if you want to have sex with a dog, it might sometimes be like, well, <laughs> hey, shout out to that guy. Because if y'all don't think that the whole community that does that stuff, you're insane. As big as the community you think the gay community is, go see, go see about those people who do stuff with animals. That community is huge. Y'all just don't know about it. So I don't applaud that. I'm not giving in to everybody who wants to say they're gay and lesbian and to be applauding them and say they got to run the world. I got to include them in everything I do. No. If you want to be gay and keep it to yourself, cool. But it doesn't mean I have to conform to everything y'all say. But the second I say something about Jesus or I talk about being Catholic, oh, I got to get shunned by the whole world. Right? They always go after, they always go after you. We saw the whole thing with the, the nuns of whatever, debauchery. The fake nuns that went after the Catholic faith, they got to go to the L.A. Dodgers game. 
we can't celebrate the Catholic faith there, but we can celebrate being non-Catholic. We can celebrate being anti-Catholic. We can celebrate being everything else, but that one thing, that one name you can't say. Come on now. But they're the most oppressed group in this whole country of Uganda got their funding cut because they refuse to go against their culture and their faith. It's a joke. Okay. And I said it before and I say it again. People are waking up and I don't think the LGBT in five years will be as strong as they are now. They're a powerhouse. And uh, we got to start standing up. We got to. If we don't, it's going to get worse, people. Y'all, y'all have no idea. Heck, I don't have no idea. I didn't think it would get this bad. But the more I look into it, it's bad. And everybody wants to put themselves underneath that cloak. They want to put themselves under that flag, that rainbow flag that was supposed to represent something more. But now I can't even look at a rainbow color thing and not think LGBT when a rainbow used to just be a collection of colors. The beauty of the sun hitting the freaking, well, yeah, we don't need to go into the physics, but you understand. It used to be something so much more. A rainbow used to represent so much more. Now, the second you see a rainbow, it's immediately conform with that group. I don't like that. I don't. Never will. Just is what it is. Why? And I'll answer this question while I'm still on this video. Why shouldn't the U.S. condemn Uganda for literally having... See, y'all don't even read into the law. Go read the law. It's not saying that if you're homosexual, you die. There is an... If they push the agenda against the culture, against the faith, it's not... You got to understand what Uganda thinks about the LGBT. They don't think the way we think. Y'all think it's just about, yo, hell, you're gay. You like the word this and that. Over there, they don't see it like they see it. Over here, what they see in the U.S. is what has happened to us. You've literally got grown men walking into the bathroom. They are against the ideology, not the people. They are against the ideology, not the people. Same way I am. I'm not against the people. I'm against the ideology because they brainwash us into believing that this is the most important thing on the planet is for everybody to know what your sexuality is. And it's not. It's not. You got to do the need to give in to this. They don't. They see what we've done over here. Grown men in our girl, little girl's bathroom. You got grown men putting their genitals in a little girl's face and everybody just. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm done with it. Peace.